Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. Uh, last time I introduced that we have 1200 watt switching power supply uh, and some people want to see what is inside of the PSU so we do a comparison video about the 800 watt PSU and uh, our 1200 watt PSU uh, because the uh, differences between the 1000 uh, watt PSU and the uh, 1200 watt PSU is not such big. Uh, we just uh, improve something, but uh, the difference is not so big. So I use this 800 watt PSU as a comparison PSU, and we will introduce the um, complement so that you can know how it works first it is the overall comparison uh, there are overviews uh, jumper one on the 800 watt psu uh, you can see it here and then here this two uh, and it uses green single-sided circuit board half bridge type uh, Topology and the uh, use of the low cost complement makes the PSU more affordable uh, when the performance is ensured. So, uh, although the complement is cheap, but uh, the performance is not uh, bad. Okay, uh, the 1200 watt PSU use a uh, uh, black double side circuit board, uh, which is better soldering performance. Uh, it uses a two transistor forward topology structure and uh, use complements uh, more abundant and uh, it has a longer service life. Uh, these two power supplies are grouped at the large capacitors and the inductors position. To fix them, uh, both can work at full load for a long time when testing the performance, uh, which is recommended. Uh, for the case, uh, the 800 watt PSU use tapping stamping, and uh, it is low cost. For the 1200 watt PSU. It use the press reading process. It will be stronger and more durable. Okay. Uh, the import common mode choke. This one and this one. The 800 watt PSU, uh, the one dime meter. Uh, is about one millimeter. Uh, it is thinner uh, with uh, more turns. The one thousand and two hundred watt PSU uh, com common mode choke one diameter is about one point five millimeter. Uh, it is thicker uh, with less turns because large import current needs thicker one diameter, and the common mode choke needs less in ductance and therefore uh, less turns. Then it is a rectifier bridge. Uh, 800 watt PSU use a single rectifier bridge uh, with heat sink and the heat, dissip and the heat dissipation is better and uh, the working temperature will be lower. Uh, our 1200 watt PSU use two rect rectifier bridges in parallel uh, without heat sink. The so overall current performance is better and uh, better impact resistance uh, because the PSU does not have PFC circuit. The peak current of the rectifier bridge is uh, relatively higher. Uh, it needs higher uh, impact resistance. Uh, now it is uh, 
import main filter capacitors. Uh, 800 watt PSU use two pieces, uh, 200 volt, uh, 1000 microfarad uh, capacitors. And the 1000 and 200 watt PSU use two pieces, 1500 uh, microfarad capacitor. The higher of the output power, the bigger import capacitors needed. The peak voltage after the rectification of 200 volt uh, AC uh, is 311 volt. So two pieces, uh, 200 volt capacitors uh, connected in series is enough. Now we introduce this. You can see uh, the 800 watt PSU uh, switching transistor has a large heat sink. The switching transistor uh, make more heat. The 1200 watt PSU, it does not uh, have a bigger heat sink. Uh, it, mainly use the shear of the PSU to deliver the heat as the efficiency is higher. Then it is a transformer of these two uh, PSU. 800 watt PSU use PQ4040 magnetic uh, core and the 1200 watt PSU use PQ5050 magnetic core or a bigger magnetic core can withstand higher power. Then it is about the output uh, inductor. The cable diameter of the 800 watt PSU inductor is about 1.3 millimeter. Uh, this 1200 watt PSU uh, Inductor uh, cable diameter is about 1.7 millimeter. Uh, 800 watt PSU use a, a yellow blue iron powder as magnetic core, so the magnetic uh, permeability is low. The 1200 watt PSU use iron silicon. Uh, Aluminum magnetic ring, uh, higher magnetic uh, permeability, lower loss, and the ring size is bigger. Uh, so a single magnetic uh, ring is enough. It has two. Okay. Uh, then it is uh, output rectified dual. Uh, the 800 watt PSU uh, use a single rectified diode with a small heat sink. Uh, the I do not see if you can see it clearly. Uh, so 1200 watt PSU, uh, it has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, it is too dark. Uh, in this angle, I see. I think you can see it. One, two, three, four. Uh, it has uh, four rectified diode with bigger uh, heat sink, and uh, this there is temperature sensor to ensure that the over temperature protection function okay now it is about the output uh, capacitors the 800 watt psu use three pieces 100 volt uh, 470 microfarad uh, normal capacitors in parallel the 1200 watt psu use uh, 100 volt, uh, 820 uh, microfarad high 
frequency capacitors in parallel. More uh, surplus in the capacity and the lower ESR, lower output ripple, uh, both output voltage is about uh, 65 volt. It is 65 volt, it is uh, 68 volt. Uh, it is enough to use a 100 volt capacitor. For 800 watt PSU, uh, it has a, a sorcery power supply. It is used to power on the uh, fan, the PWM controller, and the relay. The advantage is that it can provide power uh, more stable. Uh, the shortage is that it is more complex because it uses more uh, components. Uh, so 1200 watt PSU, it had a secondary uh, winding at the output inductor. Uh, you can see the yellow, the yellow one, the yellow one, the yellow one. Uh, it is a secondary winding at the output inductor. Uh, it is used to power on the relay and the fan. The advantage is that it has less Components and a low failure rate, but if there is no load, the fan cannot run in full speed. But actually, when uh, there is no load, uh, the fan does not need to work uh, in full speed. For protection function, both uh, switching power supply has an overload protection. Uh, Eight hundred watt PSU. Uh, use the trans transformer to test the primary uh, current. The so 1200 watt PSU use a current sensing resistor to detect the output current. Both of them has temperature control fan and uh, over temperature uh, protection. So, and they have input fuses. Uh, the basic uh, protection function are not lost. So they all have the basic uh, protection function. So these two switching pumps Power supplies are both normal in design, and uh, the, there is no obvious shortage, except they do not have the PFC circuit. The so 1,200 uh, watt PSU increase 50% uh, power with the same size. Uh, the design is more detailed. Uh, the cost of, of the components uh, are, is higher, but uh, actually, uh, see it's all not bad. Uh, if you have more questions, uh, you just leave us a message to see uh, what you want to look.